Hi, this is Rajesh, and today I gonna tell you about highway alignment, its types, requirements, and what the what are the factors that are controlling the alignments. So let's start. So the first is what is highway alignment? Highway alignment is nothing but the position or the layout of the center line of the highway on the ground. Nothing. This is the position of or the layout of the center line of the highway. on the ground is called alignment so there are two types of alignment horizontal alignment and vertical alignments so first one is horizontal alignment horizontal alignment and next one is vertical alignment vertical alignment so, so the first one is horizontal alignment horizontal alignment includes a straight path deviation and horizontal curve and the vertical alignment includes vertical curves and change in alignment gradient so the figure of the horizontal alignment is like this this is the center line so this is the moving direction of the vehicles so this is the horizontal alignment and vertical alignment is nothing but a the figure is like this see the moving direction of the vehicles the two figures in the thing vertical alignment now I gonna tell you about the condition of the highway alignment so the condition is if the alignment is improper If the alignment is improper, then the construction cost will be increased. Construction cost will be increased. Maintenance cost also be increased. Maintenance cost will also be increased. Third one is vehicle operation cost will also be increased vehicles operation cost will be increased vehicle operation cost will be increased it means the tire Puncher mileage decrease suspension and
and inconvenience of driver and fourth one is accident rates accident rate will also be increased if the alignment of the condition is improper so now the next point is the requirements so what are the requirements in the highway alignment so the first one is salt second one easy and the third one is safe and the final and last one is economical so short is nothing but a the distance of the two terminal station should be short and easy means the alignment should be such that it is easy to construct and maintain the road with minimum problem safety is nothing but a or safe we can with the design of the traffic rules we have to follow the safety rules in the highway alignment and economically means if the road alignment is good then maintenance cost will be decrease vehicle operation cost will be decrease so the economical is nothing but a if the road if the road alignment is good then maintenance cost will be decrease and vehicles operation cost will be decrease so the next point is about what are the factors that is that controls the alignments so the factors are factors affecting of the alignments are obligatory point will be obligatory point and second one is traffic third one is geometric design so the alignment obligatory point is nothing but the point through which the alignment should pass and the traffic is nothing but a, we have to follow the traffic rules in order to prevent the accident rates and geometric design means the side distance of the alignment should be clear and the second one is economic economic means um, the construction of the geometric design should be more and sustainable like 20 years 10 years and the next one is other consideration other consideration means the bitumen will move through the water if the water is flow continuously so let's see the figure so this is the water if the water will flow and remain in this position then bitumen layer will be move through the flowing water and the road will be sink down 
so this is the other consideration of the highway alignment so thanks for watching guys